today. From TIAA Bankfield in Jacksonville, Florida, this is the National Football League. Jacksonville Jaguars taking on Teddy Bridgewater and the Denver Broncos. He originally opened in 1995 as Jacksonville Municipal Stadium when this franchise entered the NFL. We welcome you to Jacksonville and TIAA Bank Field. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Denver Broncos. set to go and we are underway here in Jacksonville Deontay Spencer on the return from his end zone and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25 now whistles and we've got a man down a man down here following the kickoff while the training staff works on him we'll step aside and be right back there on first down gets three up to the 28. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy right who can stand up and make a play it was only a three yard run but for both sides they had to walk away from that feeling like okay I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry here's second and seven. Throwing is Bridgewater. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Bridgewater finding Judy there for the Bronco first. And the Broncos expected big things out of Jerry Judy, their number one pick in 2020. But he really had to make a jump with the injury to Cortland Sutton. Almost 900 yards last year. A nice grab there. Bridgewater now for Gordon on the draw. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. On the delayed handoff, this is Gordon. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and 10. Bridgewater now from the 50. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. From the gun, Bridgewater. That's out to the flat for Gordon. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved. Just as you said, they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. On third down, Bridgewater. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a handoff, this is Gordon. Nothing doing, barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On second and nine, Bridgewater. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. They go back to Gordon here on first down. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Three yards remain for second down. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. That's caught over the middle by Fan. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Bridgewater to Fan, first down Broncos. And if Noah Fan keeps making catches like that, it might not be too long till we say he's one of the top five tight ends in football. When he was drafted, that was the expectation. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter. And they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. McManus's point after is good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And 
And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. For the first time, the Jacksonville Jaguars set to go here on offense, led out by the new face of the franchise, the number one overall pick, of course, from this year's draft. It's Trevor Lawrence out of Clemson. And I just don't think there's any way to overhype Trevor Lawrence's impact at Clemson. How about these amazing numbers? Over 10,000 yards passing in his three seasons as a starter. A 90 to 17 touchdown interception ratio and he even ran for 18 scores not to mention won a national championship as a freshman and made the college football playoffs his other two seasons and they'll throw on first down with lawrence and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And now the throw taken in by Chark. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Lawrence to Chark, first down, Jacksonville. So for Trevor Lawrence, uh, listen, the hype, the buzz, whatever you want to call it, it just surrounds this guy. One of the most highly regarded draft picks of the last decade or two. What do you think defenses are going to throw at him here in his rookie season? Well, I think all the edge rushers can't wait to get a shot at him, especially his rookie year, because they want to see if he can handle the pressure when they come at him. But I think defensive coordinators, they know that he's well-schooled and he's very intelligent. They want that pressure on him. They'll throw those normal blitzes. They also want to throw combo coverages in the secondary to see if he can read them. Only needing two yards on second down. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside. Quarterback tucks it and keeps it. Quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. From the 45 on second down, Lawrence. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Lawrence. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now Lawrence sets up the screen to Robinson. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Lawrence going to throw again. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. 
And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. with the handoff to Robinson. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Lawrence. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Carlos Hyde in the game. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Marvin Jones there to make the grab. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one, a 13-play drive in total, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. Seven here as the kicks away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Bridgewater on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he's standing in the pocket. 
but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw is Bridgewater. That is incomplete. K.J. Hamler, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Bridgewater. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you. All right, so if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, a give to Hyde. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Four yards remain for second down. Lawrence. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're gonna utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? From the shotgun, Lawrence. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Line of scrimmage, again the four yard line, second and goal. Lawrence will throw. Flushed out right. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence taking it in from four yards out. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Defensively, didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe we're seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about. Coming out of college, you're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know when it's time to go. Lambo to add on the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was capped off by Trevor Lawrence taking it in himself. Touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now, penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really had zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. To throw, Bridgewater. Got a man open, it's Sutton. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And unfortunately, in 2020, in the season opener, Cortland Sutton tore his ACL. But remember, over 1,100 yards in 2019, his future is still awfully bright. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Bridgewater. Throw to the right here to Gordon. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Bridgewater to throw it. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was trying to hit Melvin Gordon there, and it's third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Bridgewater again. Got a man, it's Judy complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A gain of 19 and picking up the first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's second and ten. They'll throw again. Bridgewater. This is Gordon on the dump off. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 41-yard line. Here's Bridgewater. This is the tight end fan. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis.
coach. Appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. now Lawrence on first down a slant to Jones and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield two catches in the first half now he's got a third here and it's good for a first and when you draft a rookie quarterback as the Jags did with Trevor Lawrence you want a veteran presence for him but Marvin Jones he fits the bill five years in Detroit ten years over on the league The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Out of the gun. It's Lawrence. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So a first and 10 now in Denver territory, right at the 40. On the counter, this is high. The tackle made that time by Bryce Callahan. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, it's Lawrence. There's Manhurts, the tight end. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Third and two, now Lawrence. Able to complete this to Chennault. And he will have a Jaguars first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Lawrence to Chennault for a Jaguar first. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Play fake for Robinson. Now Lawrence. That's going to be caught. It's Chennault. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 
back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. The Jaguars are eager to see what LaVisca Chenault and Trevor Lawrence can do together. Chenault was a second-round pick in 2020, and they're going to move him like a chess piece all over the formation and even put him in the backfield. Again, it's Lawrence. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Von Miller, he was the one getting in there, able to wreak his usual havoc. And Bronco fans have to be so excited because Von Miller missed 2020 with an ankle injury, suffered just days before the season opener. An eight-time Pro Bowler, the all-time sack leader for the Broncos, and the active leader in the NFL, they are happy to welcome him back. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly, and this one could be coming back. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Penalty yards marched off as they'll try again on second and goal. Now Lawrence to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. But now it's third and goal. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. Third and goal and still a long way from the end zone. Here's Lawrence to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Robinson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That time, 12 yards on the pass play, but still shy of where they needed to go. Fourth and goal. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And Lambo will put this one through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting through. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. Now after the main field goal, back out Lambeau to kick this one off. To return it, here's Deontay Spencer. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll try and get the ground game going. Here's Gordon. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Damian Wilson in on the stop. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away 
from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. the chains now second and two from the gun Bridgewater and this one incomplete too much contact to hold on to that one and it's third down he was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield but that one was red and timed perfectly and they were able to break it up The Broncos on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. To the air again with Bridgewater. And that will be incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They run, it's Williams. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. And a run like that shouldn't surprise anyone who's ever seen Javante Williams play. Compact, strong, physical runner. He ran for 1,000 yards at North Carolina last year. In fact, it was over 1,100 and 19 touchdowns in addition. And that's despite sharing the backfield with another 1,000-yard rusher, Michael Carter, who was taken in the fourth round by the Jets. Najee Harris and Travis Etienne were taking over him, but many thought that Javante Williams might be the best back in the draft. A first down throw for Bridgewater. And that's off the mark, incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing, Bridgewater. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Bridgewater. Gets it to Gordon. And he will be very close to a first down. But I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. 
when you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And that one, just an absolute killer. A chance to get this back within one score. All hope not gone yet. But at the same time, you're exactly right. They needed to get back within one score and have a motivated defense take the field in order to get it back for them for one last big drive. Now a throw to the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Visca Chenault, the intended target, and it's second down. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. To throw on second and six, Lawrence. There's another one complete to Chenault. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 27-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Again, it's Robinson. Down to the 25. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. 
A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Second and goal from inside the five. Back to the ground. This time it's high. And he'll take this into the end zone. A touchdown, Jacksonville. Carlos Hyde taking it in from four yards out. And the Jaguars add six to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside at two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Lambeau on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was capped off by a Carlos Hyde touchdown run. Touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And Spencer will elect to not bring it out here. It's a touchback. Denver's offense ready to go again. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. On first and ten, Bridgewater. He's got Gordon. Three yards the gain there, second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They're going to hurry back to the line now. To throw again on second down, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. And quickly, they get to the line. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And down he goes. The pressure getting to Bridgewater. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Don't 
need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Bridgewater. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance. For my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry, I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville.